everybody, I'm Josh. And I'm Jace. And we're going to react to the newest death battle. Death battle's back, baby! We're back! Beerus versus Sailor Galaxia. Okay, mm -hmm. I don't know much about these characters. In fact, I had to ask where uh, Beerus was from. He's from Dragon Ball Super. I know a little bit about Beerus. He is a Maybe god... Maybe because it's Dragon Ball Super that I had he's, to ask. He's a... Yeah, he's kind of new. He's a god of destruction. You want this? Please. Yeah. He's a god of destruction. Stay hydrated, people. <laughs> Go on. He's a god of destruction. He's destroyed planets. I'm pretty sure his kill count is in the millions. I'm assuming Princess Gal not Pr Sailor Galaxia is on the same level. I I've never even heard of this character before today. If I called up Emily, she probably could be like, "Oh my god, Sailor Galaxia, she's the baddest bitch in all of Sailor Moon." I mean, it kind of sounds like that when you literally have a god of destruction as your combat. Or, or is he just called that? No, he is. So let me give. Okay, I'm gonna give you a little oh. bit of a. A scaling. I told you this earlier, but I'm saying it again for the audience, just to just to let them know that I know this. There's like a so Vegeta is trying to beat the shit out of Beerus, right? And and Vegeta is in Super Saiyan mode, the the first one, the blonde one, and he's trying. He's he's like you know punch, trying to punch out Beerus, and Beerus is just like, and then yeah, he just he's like swatting him away, just like he's like it's nothing, and then 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 like Bulma tries to go. F a fight Beerus, and then she gets smacked, and then Vegeta's all like, "That's my Bulma," because it's his wife. And then Vegeta just he uh, he punches Beerus a few times. I don't really, I never watched the Super uh, Dragon Ball Super, and I'm very confused about like the relationship between Beerus and Goku and Vegeta. I'm like, is are they friends? I thought he was a bad guy, but like Beerus looks like then, he's pretty evil. Yes, like he's villainous. He looks like a chaotic evil. But then there's like this guy. whole like tournament where Goku and all of like the other main characters from are in like a tournament against fighters from different dimensions or universes or whatever. And Beerus is rooting for Goku and Vegeta, and I'm like, so is he on their side? Or is he only on their side because the planet, the universe is at stake? Or, and I think I think Beerus trained them for this tournament. Either him or it was it was Wiz. I don't remember, mm. but they'll say. I don't know. All right. And since I wonder if this is going to be pixel animated because uh, I'm sure it is. I, I mean, would this love. This doesn't seem like something that would be that they would spend time doing a 3D animation. That's on, true. On, to be honest. All right, let's do it. Let's get into it. All right. And in terms of, uh, I keep saying Princess Sailor Galaxia. I don't know jack shit. <laughs> All right, let's do it. Let's do it. Thick. Bow, 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 bow. I can imagine beer. I can, I can imagine a boomstick being like, "Oh yeah, Beerus! I love this guy. How can I not love him? He's got beer in the name." <laughs> must be destroyed. So Explosion! Oh, you missed that was Kono Silva. But when they get to be a golden ballerina and a purple cat, Lord Beerus, <laughs> Dragon Ball's almighty god of destruction. And Empress Galaxia, the Sailor Ooh. Scout of Destruction from Sailor Moon. He's Wiz and I'm Boomstick. <laughs> and it's our job to analyze their weapons, armor, and skills to find out who would win a death battle. Yeah, yeah, pixel about right. animation. It's good pixel animation. Son Goku. Well, I mean, it's this been getting better. Has seen his fair share of world, no, universe-ending threats. Mm -hmm. But he hadn't seen anyone treat mass slaughter like All a right. job <laughs> until he met a god of destruction. Yep. Because it is their job. A god of destruction's role is to, well, destroy ancient planets and civilizations to make way for the new. Sort of like taking out the trash, just with a billion times more murder. And in the case of universe number seven, the title of destroyer was granted to Lord Beerus. A cat. Obviously, everyone knows cats are all secretly <laughs> plotting to kill <laughs> And there's like some joke about how Beerus and his friends look like members of the backyard again. Oh my god. Companions for thousands of years, the same only technically started for cats around 200 years ago. In comparison, they're still sort of wild animals, which makes them self-sufficient, but also standoffish. And lazy. Then Beerus may be the apotheosis of all cat dumb. He's, he's not oh my god, he's older than 200 sources, million years old. For decades. Oh, but when he wakes up, he takes he naps for decades. He's way stronger and faster than Oh my god, look at him go. He's taking all three of them. That's his god of destruction's wrath technique. He's got spears of destruction, beams of destruction, sneezes of destruction, giant energy yarn balls of destruction. Giant energy yarn balls. Are you just cuz he's a cat? Yeah. 
He can neutralize energy attacks from others, which is frankly just unfair. But his most awe-inspiring technique is Hakai. See, Beerus's enormous level of power stems from an unearthly source. To demonstrate, allow me to introduce our brand new disposable unit for meticulous matchup investigations, aka Dummy. Hello, Mr. Wizard. How may I be exploited today? <laughs> You're trying to replace me. Now, generally speaking, there are three types of key, which, to be blunt, is weaponizable life energy. First, there's normal key. Most people in the Dragon Ball multiverse have this. <laughs> Dangerous, but nothing too special. Gods have their own key, of course, which is way more potent, but like all key, they have a limited amount. But when you want the good stuff, you go for destruction. Oh, he killed him. <laughs> so much for your new sidekick, Wiz. What, pure destructive energy? Is that what they're saying it is? Something like that. Instant, erasing both body and soul from existence. The only way to resist is to match Beerus in power. And he didn't get so strong on his own. He's trained for millions of years. Okay. This guy, also named Wiz. No, Wiz. Yeah, that's what I said. He learned pressure point combat in the super secret Ultra Instinct. Ultra Instinct. An actual transformation. Autonomous Ultra Instinct describes the ability to instantly respond to attacks without conscious thought getting in the way. Like he's on a catnip high. With Ultra Instinct, he could even take on multiple other gods of destruction at the same time. The only problem with being so freaking powerful is that he got kinda bored. So he was hyped when he learned there was someone out there who might be a challenge for him. The Super Saiyan God. And in their fight over the fate of the Earth, they almost destroyed the whole universe. Our own observable right. universe is a respectable 93 billion light years across. However, the Dragon Ball universe is noticeably different, as depicted by the symbolic model. The observable universe as we know it fits within that bottom area. Then there's what? the middle, heaven up top, oh, a bunch of dinosaurs sprinkled in there somewhere. Dinosaurs. Yeah, it's kind of a mess. A single clash between Beerus and Goku sent ripples of energy rocketing through this entire macroverse in just seven seconds. Even with conservative calculations, these shockwaves must have been moving well over 250 times the speed of light. Hell, the guy's quick enough to fly between galaxies in just a couple of minutes, so no surprise there. And when him and his fat cat brother Shampa got into a fight, they almost tore apart the whole universe themselves. Now talk about a cat fight. But despite his incredible power, Beerus eventually did the one thing nobody ever expected. He showed mercy and spared Earth. Perhaps he saw a glimmer of greatness in Goku's potential, as so many have... Okay, wait a minute. There is Earth in the Dragon Ball universe? Yes. That's what planet this is. Oh yeah, by the way, in the dub, Beerus is voiced by the same guy who plays Weiss's dad. Oh my god, I hear that. Yeah. Each is an essential piece in the ever-shifting whirlwind of the cosmos. That's why they all have their own super protector. Fighting evil by moonlight, winning love by daylight. They are the, the one named Sailor Moon. The Sailor Guardians are warriors <clears throat> entrusted with magnificent powers. It's the Sailor Guardian's job to protect their world from alien threats. You may know one of them, Sailor Moon. Real name, Usagi Tsukino. Or Serena or Bunny, depending on which dub you watch. Oh god. Oh god. Nice Popeyes who sell cookies? Uh, what? Sailor Scouts. Duh, whiz. They're not sailors, they're Sailor Guardians or Sailor Soldiers. The term Sailor Scout comes from the original English dub. Oh yeah, the dick dub. Look out, kid! There's a giant dick outside your window! <laughs> you know what you are. What the anyway, fuck? Anyway, everything in the universe possesses a form of crystallized life force called a star seed. Each guardian is powered by a special star seed mm -hmm. which embodies their own planet, a sailor crystal. I feel like I should take them notes. Superhuman powers. They can fly, do magic, shapeshift, heal fast, and are basically immortal. Some of them are even trained by the most dangerous creatures in the world. Yes. After a <laughs> eventually find herself face to face with her greatest foe, a cold-hearted empress of evil. She was just a nameless lady stuck on some random trashy planet. Mm -hmm. It was so bad there, she basically gave up on life. Well, until she got her hands on the sapphire crystal. The sapphire crystal is exponentially powerful, providing unlimited potential that matched her own newly unlimited ego. With all this power amongst the garbage around her, one purpose came to mind. Destroy everything. <laughs> so into the universe she went in search of a new home fit for a goddess. The soldier of destruction. Sailor Galaxia. 
be it the power or her own mind. How was that outfit? Lexia was cursed with unparalleled vanity, so cosmic in scale that she could not be satisfied until the whole universe bowed before her, or else. Just like my ex-wife, if she appeared on the horizon, you'd be totally screwed. Galaxia or okay, she's only she's yes. older than 200 yeah, years. Explosions big enough to blood out galaxies. So Beerus has tons more experience. But he but Beerus will nap for decades, that's what they said. <laughs> Galaxia can wipe anything out of existence. Planets, people, other guardians, you name it. Plus, she's got all sorts of other magic powers. Teleporting, summoning lightning, mind controlling people by taking their star seeds. Oh, yeah, but he yeah, naps for decades totally out of boredom. And like any good anime fair. villain. Her attacks have some absolutely ridiculous names, like the Galactica Super String, which doesn't actually use any string. Galactica Crunch. I think Crunch? I that this morning. And Galactica Inflation. <laughs> what the hell? Whoa, how did that get there? It's not what you think. Research. You come across a lot of stuff in research. Wiz, I'm glad to know exactly what kind of guy I'm working with. Um, uh, so okay. Um, this is porn collection. Case, building her own widespread empire. She was so friggin' terrifying that some people would murder their own Sailor Scout as a sacrificial offering just to save themselves. Man, magical girls Ooh. in the middle as hell. But Galaxia's destructive path wasn't as reckless as it may seem. Tick, tick. Through her travels, Ooh. she learned of a looming threat to the universe, a primordial entity and source of all evil. And so she vowed to destroy chaos. Yeah, that happens if you watch too much Marie Kondo. But to maintain balance, she also sought to destroy the opposite of chaos, the embodiment of love and goodness, which is apparently Sailor Moon. This is where different stories get a bit wonky. Right. In the anime, Galaxia was a heroic warrior who absorbed chaos to keep it under control. But Chaos flipped the script and took her body instead. Okay. However, this did not happen in the original manga. Galaxia's warpath led her to Earth, and she annihilated all the favorite Sailor Scouts. Every. Single. One. Except Sailor Moon. They had to have their epic battle. And Moon is a powerhouse. She once lit up the entire universe with a single attack. This light reached the edge of the universe in four seconds, putting it at 360 quadrillion times light speed. Galaxia was tough enough to survive. The you tell me light chaos. traveled faster than the light? Her crystal, she never has to worry about running out of energy in a fight. This chick's basically unkillable. Well, the intense forces of chaos almost ended her life until she was saved by Sailor Moon. And guess what? Apparently, this caused Galaxia to question her resolve and see Meatball Head here in a new <laughs> Meatball Head. Hey, maybe this lovey dovey goodness stuff ain't so bad. And then, bam! Her crystal exploded from positivity overload and she died. Neither Galaxia nor the Sapphire Crystal had ever known this feeling. Ironically, or perhaps befittingly, the weakness of destruction itself okay. was love. Whiz, she was literally killed by kindness. Who wrote this? Nuance Boomstick. Regardless, the power Galaxia wields is astonishing. Beneath the heel of her boot, any planet, oh, galaxy, or universe is utterly doomed. For this fight belongs to Sailor Galaxia, the most powerful guardian in the galaxy. Okay. All right, the combatants are set, and we've run the data through all possibilities. But first, I need to rock out with some Raycon earbuds. I think it's gonna be Beerus. Same man. Beerus. I mean, I nobody. He's like destroying a planet. Just seems like like nothing to him. It's like a commality. He How is just like tap. Just tap. he's just he he <laughs> he is bored of destroying planets. And the entire time I'm listening to Galaxia's analysis, I'm like, there's no commodity about it. I'm sorry. This doesn't even seem like it's a contest. Yeah, let's do it. And she and she was killed by kindness, literally. I'm sorry, but also, Beerus, it's literally his job to get rid of planets and get rid of old civilizations to make way for new worlds. All right, I'll move, okay. So Beerus, Beerus, and if we're wrong, we gotta slap each other. Let's do it. Agreed. It's time for a death, death battle! Aw, oh, hell yeah. <laughs> Just chilling by the poolside. Oh, she, she can see him from up there. <laughs> oh wow! So there's no setting. To vaporize a god's dessert. Oh god! The anime evil girl laugh. Oh! oh, oh, oh. Uh, so you have oh, it's like a Three Stooges move. What? Oh damn! 
What? Are they punching with their fingers? <laughs> the idea that this fight is just taking place in space. There's nothing, there's no planets because they destroyed them all. Oh my god! Don't you dare. He's fine. He broke through the sun, if anything. <sighs> Destroy the sun! Do it, you two. You know you want to. Explode! Yes! Now look what you've done! This is your fault, you stupid cat! I love that they're more like just bickering rather than actually fighting. Oh, whoa, they're on... Hello there, stranger. Welcome. They're on different planets. Kneel for me. Where's he? Hello there, stranger. Welcome. He blew it up. Is that a black hole now? Probably. Oh shit. Die. No fair. Oh come on. He's gonna eat the black hole. Ba ba. The destruction she. You lack the instinct. Whoa! <laughs> You're all mine. Ooh, wait. Did she got a mind control? No, she took a seed. What? That's impossible. Now you're catching on. I am the impossible. Oh! That was for my ice cream. <laughs> Perfect line. Perfect finishing line. I'm gonna get a beer for us. Wait, beer us whiskey, champagne? Oh my god! All the cats are named after booze. I like them now. This was a fairly balanced matchup. Galaxia's power set was That's certainly amazing. enough to keep up with Beerus. Especially since she has so many more versatile techniques than him. Not to mention her crystal provided unlimited energy while Beerus had a vast but still finite pool of key. But that's about where it all starts tilting the other way. Based on how fast their galaxy spanning attacks were, Galaxia did have a slight edge in attack speed, but Beerus' ultra instinct made up for it. Plus, he had expert martial arts training, while Galaxia had none of that. Speed alone wasn't winning this fight. Also, Beerus' skill set countered many of her own attacks. His energy nullification, for example, let him blast through plenty of her offensive options. Hey. But to really lock down Beerus' superiority in all things destruction, how about we compare their power output? Both of them use attacks that span their whole universe in seconds. But remember, the Dragon Ball universe is much bigger than our own. Right, this universe is at yep. least nine times bigger than ours, and Beerus almost destroyed it all. For the most part, the universe in Sailor Moon is very much based on our own. And the same should be said for Nehalenia's mirror universe Usagi destroyed. So, pretty clear cut? That means Beerus is nine times stronger than Galaxia? Well, not exactly. They both are likely much stronger. Galaxia matched Endgame Eternal Sailor Moon in battle. 
who could destroy eight of her anima mate minions at once. Did you say animorphs? Long story short, a single anima mate could match a single anima mate. Ma uh, God. Power to Sailor Moon when she destroyed that mere universe. While this is admittedly a very highball estimate, defeating eight anima mates at once could logically translate to possessing eight times that power. Since Galaxia could match her in combat, this potentially puts Galaxia's output level much closer to Beerus and Goku's clash. But the shockwave happened when Goku had only just gone Super Saiyan God for the first time. Beerus claimed he was going all out with 100% of his power, but like all cats, he was lying. Telling Goku that you were using 100% of your power was a very clever tactic to draw out his full strength, even though it wasn't true. Even after Goku later yeah. achieved Super Saiyan Blue with Kaioken, a form many, many times more powerful than his first go at being a redhead, Beerus was still considered his superior. Simply put, even if we highball Galaxia and lowball Beerus, the God of Destruction still possessed a greater amount of power, both in yep, offense and defense, right. as they are identical when it comes to Dragon Ball Key. Isn't that right, dummy? Sailor Galaxia may have had a more versatile arsenal, but Lord Beerus had the strength, durability, and technique. He's gonna steal the pun, isn't he? Her. But you already said all that. So what's the point? Like my existence. Oh. You could say she got caught in a galaxy-sized catastrophe. Can I blow him up this time? I look forward to it. The winner is Lord Beerus. Alright, who's next? You ready? You you, you ready? know, you know one of the combatants. Death battle is Let's see who it is. Ten episodes to wrap up this year. Stay tuned and check out the music linked in the description below. Who is it? Tell me. <gasps> yes. Yes. Prince Zuko boy versus Shoko the other something. The other guy. See, even you don't know who it is. It's I know who he what he's from. He's from My Hero Academia, which is so we gotta finish that. Oh boy. Yeah. Okay. So I guess I'm assuming they're just dude, both dudes. I remember. No, I remember we look. We look. I remember I showed you. A, we were looking at photos of the My Hero Academia characters, and we pulled up this guy, and I remember thinking I made a joke. He's like, I was like, hey, look, it's Prince Zuko. He's got like a birthmark or something on his eye. Well, then they got something to talk about. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I don't know what, um... What'd you say his name was? Who? What's Who's Zuko fighting? What's the guy's name? I don't know. Shoto something is what I saw. I'm gonna go back. Shoto do... Todoroki? Todoroki? Shoto Zuko versus... Shoto Todoroki! Alright, so I'm assuming they're just both dudes with fire powers, I guess. I guess we're gonna find out, but uh, we really gotta catch up on uh... my hero. Yeah, it was, we're, we're, we're not gonna be able to catch up in time for when this comes out. Wait, August twenty third. That's a week from today. I yeah, we're not gonna be able to do it in time. Uh, shit. We okay. For those of you who don't know, we're trying. We're gonna. We've been recording My Hero Academia. We're gonna. I I don't know when we're gonna put those episodes out. Uh, but if we watch them and just put them on the back burner, then we can watch related content like we could watch all might versus might guy and now this we could ask you guys to tell us if there's any major spoilers within these uh death battles but we get mixed answers because there's, yeah because there's people who want us to do it and then there are people who like are genuine like are honest there are people who will lie and just just, just watch it it's fine and then the like i mean when it comes to like i remember maybe it, it's different maybe you're right maybe some people do want to see you throw a shit fit again shut up that was a huge Okay, okay, okay. It's it, when it comes to like when I watched Naruto. I, I finished Naruto recently, and I when I watched Naruto, I wasn't too mad about spoilers because I'm like, this is a 15 year old TV show. If I get spoiled, then like it's on me. You know what I mean? I'm like you can't really get mad about spoilers from a 15 year old TV show or like X amount of years. It's like, but my hero is, is is new enough where like I feel like yeah, you better watch out in the comments if you want to spoil things. All Might is Deku's father. It's a plot twist. Uh, how many episodes are we in in my hair? We're only like five. Uh, let's see. There was the first episode where they ended up on the roof, and then the next episode where they did... Then they did training, and then, then they did the first day, which was, I think, the trials where they were being graded. And then he, I think he punched a robot. He did. He did punch the robot. And, and his that, arm that's, was that's, like, where we, that's where we... Ah! <laughs> uh, no! <laughs> Grow up, man. We're gonna see more of that. Uh, he punched a robot, and I think that's where it ended for us. And he made it... He, and the end of that episode was him making it into the school. Yes, he got, he got a letter points. in the mail. He got points because of the rescue he performed. Yes, okay. 
Dude. Oh, man, I'm so happy Zuko's in a death battle. Are they gonna... Mm, are they gonna do, like, what they did with Ben 10, where it's like, he was a kid... It, ben 10 was in his 10-year-old form, but he somehow still had access to his aliens that he didn't get access to until he was, like, 15, 16? So does that mean, like, even though Zuko... They're gonna do young Zuko, probably from Avatar, but Zuko couldn't lightning bend. He couldn't create lightning. But I'm pretty sure in Legend of Korra... He can, because he's, like, 85 years old. I'm pretty sure he can do that after, like, 70 years of training. So does that mean he's going to be able to lightning bend, like, shoot lightning in this? I guess we're going to find out. If 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 Shoto <sighs> shoots fire at Zuko, can't Zuko just, like, pwah, like, move it around? Yeah, that's and fire then, bending. And Not... then Zuko shoots fire at Shoto, then... We don't know what Shoto even... Actually, I don't even know what, know what his powers are. are so. I don't even know what, like, what are the limitations. Is he like Pyro where he can manipulate it? I don't know. Mm, I guess we'll find out. Uh, God damn it. There's like... Uh, we gotta catch up to the show, dude. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the reaction to this death battle. I'm so glad death battle's back. Are they still doing like the DBXs? Should we like do a reaction to all of them? I don't know. Alright. Maybe. Alright, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm Josh. I'm Jace. We'll see you in the next one.